we could talk about you playing the George Washington University game. So we won't talk about what happened <laughs> during that game, but I would like to talk about just your mental takeaways uh, from that situation. So what are kind of the lessons that you learned in the aftermath? Um, so I've been playing, this is my fifth year, mm -hmm. three different schools, three different conferences, and I think this is the first time I've ever been in a fight mm -hmm. on the basketball game in college. Mm -hmm. um, but I was acting out of emotion, mm -hmm. um, and I did face the consequences for it. Um, some of them I'm still kind of facing today, but just learning to keep my composure, even in moments like that, because everybody's watching us all the time, especially with social media and today's day and age. So the biggest takeaway I took was just like learning to keep my composure for my sake, for the team's sake, just for the overall image of everything also, because that's not something that TCU is about. That's not something that we want to be about. We don't want to really be affiliated with that at all. And it was just a slight lapse in judgment acting purely out of emotion in that moment. And then the video went viral and your social medias went viral. So how did that uh, social media impact yeah, affect you? It was a lot. It was very overwhelming, I'd say. I think I gained over like 6,000 mm -hmm. followers. And at first it was like, I remember when I woke up in the morning, I had like 20 new followers and I was like, oh, wow. <laughs> and then I went to class and I was doing practice and I'm not really on my phone. And every time I'm looking, it just keeps growing mm -hmm. and there's just all these different articles and I have people from like that I haven't spoken to since like <laughs> middle school yeah. reaching out yeah. and then it reached the island it reached all my old schools like it reached mm -hmm. everywhere mm -hmm. and it was just it was really overwhelming some of the articles had just gotten so far away from yeah. basketball yeah. the way that um everybody reacted was as if they'd never seen a fight mm -hmm. in a game yeah. before yeah. um but the messages like everything I just stopped reading mm -hmm. after I think I read the first few and then it just blew up everywhere mm -hmm. and I just stopped reading it because it was just so mm -hmm. overwhelming. But now it's kind of, calm, or I don't know, it has it calmed down and then do you check your social media a lot now or do you kind of just try to stay off of it? I don't really have my notifications on mm -hmm. for any of my social media. Um, I did for a couple before but now I just keep them all off. It's, it's died down mm -hmm. I'd say but I just felt, almost immediately after I just felt like if everybody wasn't watching me before, they're definitely watching me now. Yeah. Like, I just felt like there were all these eyes on me and I was just under a microscope and it was just kind of difficult to deal with because um, I didn't really have to think about it before. So now it's just, um, I think my social media use has definitely gone down okay. since. <laughs> has that affected your performance in games and going forward where you feel like you have more eyes on you? Have my opponents trash talk and brought that up and, and trash talk to you? Um, I definitely feel like I have more eyes on me in mm -hmm. games. Um, there was an instance in the last game, not today's game, but the game before, where I was coming down off a rebound and there was a girl on the floor and my foot had gotten caught in mm -hmm. hers mm -hmm. or she was like holding my ankles and I kind of just turned around and everybody on the bench <laughs> stood oh up God. and they were like, no, <laughs> but I was just like yeah. looking because I didn't want to step on her. And <laughs> right. then I ran back and my coach was like, proud of you. Don't do and <laughs> I like, just, so I definitely feel like everybody's um, mm -hmm. watching now, mm -hmm. but um, yeah, it kind of makes me a little bit more cautious. Okay. How'd that affect your, your mental health? It definitely did. Mm -hmm. Almost immediately after, um, just kind of thinking that not only am I going to be pinned as that, but mm -hmm. people might want to look to aggravate me in the mm -hmm. future mm -hmm. just because they've seen how I react. Um, and it's definitely just like made me very cautious going into games, mm -hmm. just um, keeping my composure, keeping my cool and being aware that like that is something that could happen. Mm -hmm. And if it does happen, kind of reminding myself of how I want to go about it. I know these situations uh, are difficult, but you've it sounds like you've gotten stronger from it. Um, so, like, yeah, what do you learn overall and how how do you stay composed going forward? The biggest takeaway is just keeping my composure, because even though it is it's a competition. There's high levels, high emotions. Um, that's no excuse for my behavior or for what happened. Um, and I take full accountability for what did happen. But the biggest takeaway is understanding that the importance of keeping my composure and again, that it doesn't just affect me, that it affects so many more people.